Hi, I'm Shobna Kumar and you're watching A Plus Learning. My dear children, here we have a question. A heating appliance has a resistance of 115 ohm. If 2 ampere current flows through it, what is the power of the appliance? From the question, we have resistance is equal to 115 ohm and current is equal to 2 amperes. By the direct substitution of the values in the formula, P is equal to I square R, we have 2 square multiplied by 115, that is equal to 460 watts. What is the unit of power? Now the next question we have, a current of 0.4 ampere flows through an electric bulb working at 230 volt. What is the power of the bulb? Here too we have to find out the power but the given data is the potential difference and the current. Potential difference is 230 volt and current is 0.4 ampere. We can apply P is equal to VI that is power is equal to potential difference multiplied by current that is 230 multiplied by 0 0.4 we have 92 watts. And now when we come to the questions related to series and the parallel connection, we have the resistance given as R1, R2, R3 and so on. To find out the effective resistance in series connection, we have the formula R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Whereas for the parallel connection, we have R is equal to R1 multiplied by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Here is the next question. What is the current if 4 ohm and 2 ohm resistors are connected in series and 6 volt potential difference is applied? In the question, we are given two resistances. That is R1 is equal to 4 ohm and R2 is equal to 2 ohms. So first what we have to do is we have to find out the effective resistance. So as it is a series connection, we'll apply the formula R is equal to R1 plus R2 that is 4 plus 2 we have 6 ohms. Now the second part is potential difference is 6 volt. So again to find out the current in that, what is the current? In the question it is asked what is the current so we have r is equal to v by i or we can substitute it as i is equal to v by r we get it as 6 divided by 6 that is equal to 1 ampere 